As I follow her into the kitchen, we're both caught off guard by the sound of the door swinging open and someone yelling while flaying a bat. Who, who the hell is this person? Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh. Oh. Hello fellow Knights and Adventurers, Finn here and welcome back to Doki Doki Nightners. And last time we had a heartfelt moment with Sayori and seems that Kotonoha and Mio broke into Sayori's house and continued on with the investigation aside from the two things they found in the kitchen. Also before I begin, um, I just got myself a new chair. Uh, a lot more better than before because now I can finally lay my head back and relax and uh, all that jazz. I I just really love this chair. <laughs> Since I got this new chair and all, can you, but can you do this? <laughs> well, this is as far as this chair can go, so I can do what PewDiePie can do with his chair. Um. Feuds, please don't take this video down. I'm a fan, so yep, I can't do the patented can you do this PewDiePie move with this chair? So this is as far as it can go. So uh yeah, I'm I'm not joking. I'm literally holding the lever right now. And uh yeah, this is all it can do. So anywho, without further ado, you guys know the drill. And what time is it? Of course, it's Doki Doki time. Man, starting off with this ominous music and uh, oh, I don't know where this is going now, but we have to, we have to, we have to confirm our suspicions here on if Sayori is normal or not. Upon finishing our search through the first floor, there wasn't anything else to notice to help us figure out what Sayori is up to. Oh, it's uh, Kotonoha's uh, POV, sorry about that. We opted to begin searching the second floor where we might hopefully find something useful. I'm going to assume Sayori's bedroom is on this floor. Most likely. In that case, we might find something in here that might tip us off. In most cases, a psychopath would have their sort of private chamber for chambers for themselves. Well, assuming Sayori is a psychopath. Are you sure you haven't been watching too many movies, Koto? As I'm about to speak out, we... We hear what sounds like muffled screaming in one of the rooms. What? Did Sayori just abducted someone? Or kidnapped? Oh my glob. We both exchange nervous looks as we proceed with caution. Mio gets right behind me as we approach the door where the muffled screaming is the loudest. I nervously reach out and grab the door knob. I open the door gently. Oh, of course, that that classic five line, five word line. And we're in Sayori's bedroom. I peek my head from the from around the door to find myself looking at what I'm assuming is Sayori's bedroom. I open the door a little more and tread full and tread carefully inside. Me following close behind me. There's. There's no one in here. So what could that sound have? Mm, mm, mm. That sounded like it came from the closet. I look over in the direction of the closet. I hold my hand out to signal Mio to stand back. She gives me a nervous nod as I slowly walk up to the clo closet door. I shakily place my hand on the knob. I once again gently open the door. What? Sayori? What? <laughs> okay. Um, so my suspicions were actually correct or something, but oh yeah, because red bow and everything and I was with, oh my, oh my, oh my dear glob, what have I done to myself? Like, 
I can't believe this. I can't believe I was with the imposter. What the... So... Let me get this straight. The real Sayori was kidnapped and then an imposter took her place. Oh my dear lordy, what have I gotten myself into? At first, I, th I, I, I nearly thought that this Sayori was the one I'm with and... It... Uh, 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 my my brain my brain <laughs> no okay okay I regret it I I regretted it I oh my glove hey, Sayori she's tied to a chair with her mouth taped shut how in the name of I ripped the tape from her mouth ow does that hurt you know Sayori or Maybe, maybe for now, I'm not entirely sure if the Sayori I'm with is the real one and this one is the imposter or the other way around. Who knows, maybe, just maybe, I really hope that this is the real Sayori we all know and love and not the one that we're with in MC's house. But still, this is, this is messed up, like... I didn't know there were like there's two of them and yes I know the bow gave it away but we're not entirely sure though but still I mean according to the well look at that there it has a question mark on it still um I, I I don't know I don't want to jump into conclusions and ruin it all but still this is this is messed up Sayori yes what are you doing here how did you get back into the house without us noticing? What are you talking about? I've been tied up and trapped in a closet for the longest time. Mio slowly approaches me, only to stop upon stepping on something. She moves her foot away to find a pocket knife? What's this doing here? That's the knife the other me stole from your- The other me? Okay, okay, it looks like this is the real Sayori. We're safe, we're safe, and... I am so disappointed in myself right now. I mean, you guys know I'm a Sayori lover and all that, but... This is... this is f***ed up. Like, oh my glove, I can't believe I just swore, but still, I, I am so mad at myself right now. I'm... Not only that, I am so mad at the other Sayori in MC's house. Oh boy, I cannot wait to get to the bottom of this. Other... You? Um, yeah. What? Do you think I tied myself up to this chair and locked myself in the closet just for fun? Well, fr wait, what? Well, from the stories Finn shared with me about your childhood, well, I didn't do this. It was that other me walking around with the blue bow. The blue ribbon? We saw you going over to see Finn a while ago. You were wearing a blue bow. So what you're trying to say is... She's an imposter! <laughs> well, this is basically a Mogus DDLC edition. <laughs> please don't, uh, please don't uh, put the, um, the copyright... <laughs> hammer on me it's a, it's just a joke but still wow at least she looks like me but she isn't me i'm i'm not too sure what's going on but i can explain it to you later just untie me mia takes the pocket knife and makes her way into the closet she begins cutting the ropes restraining sayori upon being freed she attempts to stand up only to stumble I'm able to catch her before she falls to the floor. I walk o f I walk her over to the bed. It's been two days since you went missing. Have you had any food? The other me f only fed me a little bit just before you all got here. I'm kind of thirsty though. Miu, see if you can get her a glass of water. I'm going to stay here and try to figure out what's going on. You've got it. As Miu scurries out of the room, I set my sights on who I presume is the real Sayori. You said that other Sayori was an imposter? I don't know how to explain it, but she looks, sounds, and acts like me. But she's not me at all. She was just in my room all of a sudden one day when I was getting out of bed. I just took a few steps and then I felt like lightning hit me. 
the next thing I knew, I was seeing that other me wearing the same pajamas as me. Same pajamas, but with a different bow? Yeah, that's it exactly. When I asked her who, you wa who she was, she said she was Sayori. Or maybe this might be a female version of the f of the ultimate imposter. If if you know anything from Danganronpa with like, um, I don't want to spoil anything. If you know about that one character in Danganronpa 2 and Danganronpa 3, um, I <laughs> just imagine if that uh, the Sayori I'm with is the female version, except that she's not, you know thick and all that jazz I would give it away obviously but still just imagine that I I, I don't know why I, I'm in the Danganronpa craze lately with the uh, with the series going on and all that jazz it's an amazing series it's a it's a cool series and also yep <laughs> I couldn't help myself I'm just saying when I told her that I was Sayori and that couldn't be impossible she freaked out and called me an imposter well if if it's the uh, the ultimate imposter because they had no name no origin all all that stuff all they can do is pretend to be someone who exists and uh, there you go because <laughs> they really really match up and very seamlessly as well I tried to go for mr. bat and try to defend myself but she got to him first and knocked me out mr. bat I didn't know you own a baseball bat Sayori unless if you're that into baseball then sure I can believe that mr. bat Sayori points to the bat lying in the corner next to the closet. The next thing I knew, I was tied to this chair and in the closet. The other me got dressed in my uniform and said something about making Finn realize her true feelings for him and not, and not letting anyone get in her way. Oh right, her, f her confession. Dang it, Finn, you're- I I hate myself for being an idiot, but still, I know that's what I am, but... Oh, gosh, dang it, you gotta get your simpin under control. Here's your water, Sayori. Thanks, Mew. Uh, Mew? <laughs> Mew, you like Mew Iruma from Danganronpa V3. Sayori takes the class, nearly gulping it all down. Hey, don't drink it all too fast, Sayori. So then the Sayori that's been taking care of Finn has to be her. Wait, what? I briefly summarized the events up until now as best as I can, starting with the phone call from Finn about how he was sick. I can't believe this. I cannot believe the imposter Sayori or imposter Yori food poisoned me or something like that with the soup. Okay, now it makes sense. I am I, I am so sorry for being an idiot, and that's the last time I'm going to blame myself. When I started talking about how this other Sayori was taking care of him, Sayori's face was stricken with fear. We can't leave him alone with that, that, that skunk bag. Sayori immediately stands up and walks in front of her closet. I don't know what she's planning on doing with him, but we can't get, but we can't let her get away with this. She's kidnapped the other girls and taken Finn hostage. Oh, oh, that makes sense as to why there's no response from Yuri, Monika, and Natsuki. I'm not going to take this laying down. I'm a bit flustered when Sayori starts to pull up on her pajama shirt. Sayori! Oh, oh my! Mio covers her eyes and turns away, her cheeks turning crimson. What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry about that. You can change your clothes he can change your clothes once we're out of the room. You said that the other Sayori kidnapped the other girls just now. Do you mean the literature club? Yeah, but I'm not sure where exactly. I just know she mumbled something about keeping them in the house to make sure they're not in the way. I hope they're okay. Well, okay, well, change out of those clothes. Mio, see if you can find the literature club girls. I'll go with Sayori to confront the imposter. No, it's okay. This is something I have to do on my own. Sayori, are you sure about that? Do you think you can handle her? He caught me by surprise before. Now I got the element of surprise on my side. She won't know what hit her. 
Sayori, Sayori looks over at Mr. Bat as she says this. Very well then, I'll look for the others. You take care of yourself, Sayori. You hear me? Got it! He closed the door as Mia and I step out of the room. Oh boy. Are you sure about letting her take on that imposter Sayori on her own? No. But when we find the other girls, I'm going to dash to the house. I can't follow her right now, otherwise she'll suspect something. Oh, right. Bob, I hope we can do this. For all of our sake, I hope so too. Are you sure there isn't anything else you can do? Well, there is one thing I could do. Something you could argue I should have done in the first place. Uh, oh, another choice. Oh boy, I don't know which one. Should I do the right one? Uh, let's see. Make the call proceed with the plan. Oh my, I don't know what to do here. Like, okay, so... To make the call, I assume she's going to call the police or something like that. Proceed with the plan. Uh, let's see here. I think that might be the safest option. Proceed with the plan, sure, with Sayori, with, no, like, the rest of the Lurcher Club on rescuing them and get into the scene. Ah. <sighs> Oh, this is tough. I, I shouldn't think about this too long. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if my hunch is correct. If I could proceed with the plan to rescue or let Kotonoha rescue the Lurcher Club members and dash into the scene. So make the call with the with the police or something. Uh, that would be safe too because of course identity theft. But I don't know. Uh, my hunch or whatever is telling me that we should proceed with the plan for now. No, I shouldn't. We already got in this far on our own. Doing that would only complicate things further. Bob, I hope this is the right decision. Me too, I really hope I don't mess this up. But we'll see. We'll see about that. And if not, I may have to, uh, to come back to that and see how this goes. Oh man, Imposter Yori. I swear to Glob, I hope justice brings right into your face. As much, uh, as much as I like you taking care of me or MC right now, ooh, I cannot wait to put my uh, my fist right into your face. And yes, I yearn for gender equality. In case you guys are wondering, I know Sayori told me to stay in bed, but I can't help myself as I try to sneak up on her. I slowly approach her. She hasn't noticed me yet. I can't imagine if she'd be like, Oh? <laughs> oh, you're approaching me. Instead of running away, you decided to approach me instead. And I can't beat the crap out of you without getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would rat reach for my sword right now, but my mate, my, um, my, my place is a mess. Well, I won't question it. I put both of my hands on her shoulders. Hey! Ah! Give me everything tonight! Get away from me, neighborhood prowler! Uh, ow! <laughs> She's going on a on a on a with her spatula! Or Muna Muna, if you're going by like freaking Dio. Sayori then starts slapping me with the spatula. What the? Sayori, stop! Finn? What did you do that for? I just kind I just felt kind of bored without you and I decided to try out something I heard in the song once. A song told you that? Yeah. It says to grab somebody and tell them, "Hey, give me everything tonight" or something like that. Never heard of that song before. Oh, yeah. I think I remember that song. Anyway, you're supposed to be in bed. Aw, but it's so boring without you. Ah, uh, <laughs> I know, but I still have to take care of things down here. I'll be right with you soon, Finn. Yeah, be right me. You will be right there with me soon. Mm, so I can stuck you right in the face. You need to get a plenty of rest, you know. You're not going to get better if you keep putting stress on yourself. It's a small price to pay for spending time with you. Nuh-uh-uh, Finn. I know what you're trying to do. 
you're not going to get the best best of me here. Well, darn. You're so ridiculous sometimes, you know. I know you are, but what am I? Okay, okay, you win. Just promise me you'll get back to bed soon, please? Alright, you have a deal. Good. Anyway, I was trying to see if I could bake some brownies. I know how much you love them, so I figured I'd try and get some ready for you. Nice. Can't wait to see how they come out. I was going to surprise you with them, but I guess the secret's out now. I'm sorry, but you know how I get when I'm away for you for too long. In a few hours, in the last few hours, I wanted myself wanting, no, craving to be with Sayori son always. I don't think I was always like this. I don't know what's come over me all of a sudden. As It's as though someone flipped a switch in my head. I can hardly remember anything about my past that didn't have anything to do with her. I don't even remember what I did this morning that I was so worried about. Well, at least it's more fun to bake with a partner, right? I'm still sick though. You won't handle any of the kitchen stuff, but I would love the company. Then, allow me to order your wishes, my lady. <laughs> my, always the gentleman, aren't you? What? Oh, that scared me! As I follow her into the kitchen, we're both caught off guard by the sound of the door swinging open and someone yelling while flaying a bat. Who, who the hell is this person? Get away from me! Get away from me! Oh... Oh, oh, look at that. Looks like the, um, the real versus fake is about to get down. I'm armed. I'm crazy. And I'll hurt you. You again. What the? Oh, <laughs> I know a part of me inside would say to Sayori's, I feel like I'm in heaven. But no, this is really serious. There, there... <laughs> There could be only one Sayori, and that is the one with the obvious bow collar. The red one, obviously. There could be only one. Who? Who are you? Get away from her, Finn. She kidnapped me and the other girl so she could have you all to yourself. Imposter. I should have known better to, than to show you mercy. You can't have him. Finn is my life. My world. You're not taking him from me. What? What the heck is going on right now? Oh, this music's getting intense. No time to explain right now. Just know that this scumbag showed up in my room two days ago and locked me in my closet. Your room? You mean my room? You're the one who just showed happened to show up out of nowhere. Don't listen to her, Finn. She's just trying to confuse you. I know that you know which of us is the real Sayori. I stand beside my one and only girlfriend, taking her hand in mine as she takes off a, a knife. You're right. And I acu accuse you of being the imposter. Nope, 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 nope. Finn? What? What are you saying? It's me. You're nothing but a fake. <laughs> Imagine it would be like, I found you, faker. Faker? I think you're the fake Sayori around here. Do you think you can compare yourself to me? Ha, ah, you're not, you're not good enough to be my fake. I'll make you eat those words. <laughs> oh man, this is kind of like a Sonic and Shadow situation, but obviously both of them are good. But in this mod, Ah, oh, this one's different, but still, oh boy, the thrills and chills and kills. <laughs> I don't know who the hell you are, but I want you out of my sight. No, 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 no. I all you want, you good for nothing figure. <laughs> oh, I flip and you it. <laughs> He's my boyfriend and you're not taking him from me. Boyfriend? Finn? What is she talking about? What did you do to him? What do you mean? We just confess our everlasting love to each other, that's all. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? But, but I love Finn. 
Ever since I was little, I've always loved Finn. Don't you remember? How we fr Wait, what? How we first met that day and you saved me? I don't care who you are, but you're not going to frick with my head anymore. I never even met you, yet you're saying you've known me since you were little? Oh my dear glob MC, you idiot, you buffoon! And this is absolutely a buffoon something. I forgot that quote. <laughs> if you're from the kill and corner, well, you already know. Wait, oh, absolute baboon mentality. Okay, now I remember. Sorry, I nearly got that out of my head, but still. I don't buy that. No. No! You heard him. Now get out. Leave. Right. Now. No, I'm not leaving. Not until you let go f let Finn go free. He doesn't want to go with you. Don't you see? We're in love and we're in love now and there's nothing that'll change that. You you I hate you! I love Finn! Why are you stealing him from me? Stealing? It's not my fault you didn't ever act when you could. My life, my friends, my best friend and the only guy who ever mattered to me. You've taken everything away from me. I don't even know who you are. Ouch! Oh my god, the um, the, the, um, the Captain Marvel and Thanos moment. Sayori brandishes the knife and aims it at the intruder, who seems to get the idea and starts to back away. As Sayori attempts to rush at her, the intruder seemingly gives up and runs out the door. All forbidden love seems to have been revealed. What do we do now? I think I, I, we've overstayed your welcome here, my love. I think it's time we leave and find a place where we will be accepted and express and free to express our love as we please. I love the way you think. <sighs> I really need to see a psychiatrist. Like literally, I I cannot comprehend or or bear what I'm seeing right now. Run over to the house, hoping I'm not too late. I could kick myself for not going with her from the beginning. I should have, but sadly I didn't. As I approach the doorway, Sayori comes running at me at full speed. Sayori, what's going on? What the? Finn, he, and her. Sayori drops her bat as she begins to sob uncontrollably. uncontrollably. I pull her into my arms and hold onto her tightly. Sayori, get behind me. I don't know if she's still in there, but we ought to try and confront her before it's too late. Oh, okay. Sayori and I break apart from each other and she gets behind me. I pick up the bat and we slowly walk inside together. I'm surprised to find the ground floor empty. I can't see or hear anyone be else besides the two of us in the house. What? Where did he go? Sayori, I hate to put you under pressure, but can you tell me what happened? Sayori quickly recounts what happened after she barged into the house to confront the other Sayori. Apparently, Finn seemed to be so incredibly smitten by this doppelganger that he refused to recognize Sayori as the real her. He kept saying he, he loved her. She said they were in love. They were in love, and nothing was going to get between them. Oh Lord, no! I have a feeling I know why Finn was acting this way. I wish I was wrong, but the signs all point to one thing, or rather, to someone whose name I dare not speak aloud. What? What is it, Kato? Wasting no time, I begin scurrying through the house, trying to look for any sign of them or a hint to where they could be. Oh boy. I rush to the bedroom, to the bathroom, and to my dismay, I spot an open window. Below it, there's a bathtub. I climb up, climb up to the window and look outside. This leads to the backyard. Did you find something, Kota? I hate this. I hate to say this, Sayori, but I think Finn ran off with the other you. No, no. As I try to step down from the window, Sayori pushes me out of the way and tries to look out of the window in vain for Finn. Finn, where are you? Come back! 
please come back. To say this experience has broken Sayori would be an understatement. I managed to pull Sayori away from the window and into my arms as she cries her heart out. I cannot... I will not forgive him for taking Finn away from us in this sickeningly cruel twist of fate. Never, never, never. Oh my... Did I? Oh no, I think I may have picked the wrong choice. When I met up with Mio and the rest of the Lurcher Club, Sayori and I tried to explain everything as best as we could. As bizarre as it all sounded, there was no other way we could explain everything. We spoke with conviction and emotion. Cousin Yuri managed to help me back up. I gave her a knowing look and she simply nodded solemnly. Oh my dear Claw. Several weeks have gone by ever since the strange encounter with Sayori's evil twin and her abduction of the Lurcher Club. I would like to say things slowly return to normal, but I cannot. Heaven knows those are the words I would like to say to describe things, but that would be a lie. He never returned home, nor he, was he ever seen again. I told my father somewhat about what happened, and we kept in mind to keep track of anything that could have led to him. There were rumors that someone matching his description was seen at a ra rather shady chapel, eloping with a girl that looked like Sayori, but then the trail went cold afterward. Every so often, I would drop in on the Lurcher Club just to check on things. Sayori was never quite the same. I later learned she suffered from the depression from her and Monica, which only worsened my fears. Mio and I did our best to comfort and be there for Sayori, but at the end of the day, there was only so much we could do for her. In the end, there wasn't anything we could, anything else we could do. It was a very dark and depressing day when Sayori did not come back to the, come back to school for a few days just after the last time I visited the other girls. I later learned from cousin Yuri that it was because Sayori had sadly taken her own life. I was devastated upon hearing this news. According to Yuri, the only clue as to why she did at the she did that came in the form of a note she left behind detailing her spiraling emotional state and her broken heart and mind. It wasn't enough that she lost her best friend. No, if anything, she lost someone who meant the world to her. Someone she, dre she dreamed of confessing her love loved to in the purest, innocent fashion like something out of a fairy tale or romance or forever. In her heart, there was no one else. Now, he was gone forever. To add insult to injury, he had fallen for her, for the other Sayori, and not her, denying her and saying this was this carbon copy was his true love. It seemed too much to be. F <laughs> it seemed to be too much for her. This entire experience was very scarring and traumatic for her. Though self, this. Those self-deprecating thoughts consumed her until she couldn't handle it anymore. I wish there was something I could have done, but Monica and Yuri tearfully told me that she was far too, too far gone and there wasn't anything else we could have done. Natsuki was the most frustrated about everything, cursing Finn for breaking Sayori so badly. I wish I could tell her about my suspicions as to why she did as to why he did that, but it would be unwise to do so. I could only endanger myself and, and Yuri in doing so. I'm reluctantly forced to keep this information to myself. I never met him face to face, but my mother and I have known him for all of our lives. I feel deep down this is, this is his doing. As if I needed another person, or another reason to resent him, now he has chosen to steer chaos in our otherwise peaceful lives. He has no sense of guilt or shame. All he desires is the entertainment as he manipulates the unsuspecting victims he claims as his puppets. You have ruined the lives of two innocent people who were secretly in love with one another. You affected the lives of those who are around him as well in the process. I curse your name. I curse everything you stand for. A name that my mother warned me to never speak aloud. The Tyrankos. 
Tyrannos. Oh, apparently we're in his uh, or his or her, whoever this is in the、um, POV. Hmm. Someone dares to speak my name. The descendant of a traitor, nonetheless. How interesting! I did not expect to see her get involved. I must keep this in mind for the future. I would say that this dark copy of the other young woman proved to be quite useful, and my experience was quite a success. Perhaps she did not turn out as much to, as much, of a worthless creation as I hypothesized. Excellent, most excellent indeed. Oh my. Bad ending, my favorite game. What? What have I done? I can't believe this is the first time I've gone into a bad ending of a mod. Aside from well, you guys didn't well suggest to suggested me to look at the bad ending of Doki Doki Blue Skies, but going back on topic, I I I can't I can't believe this. I am such an idiot. What am I going to do now? Maybe, just maybe, I can. I still can do this. Also, in case if you guys are wondering, I just、uh, bought this off from、uh, from a shady seller, whatever online or whatever.、Um, not only it can turn me into weird alien creatures or anything, but it also has the ability to turn back time. So I think this might be very useful. So let me try putting this on just for、uh, for a quick sake. This is my first time doing something like this and all, but、uh, I don't know anymore. But still, I gotta do this for the real Siori. One way or another, I had to do it. Like, I cannot believe I bailed out with an imposter. I, I, I really hate myself. But oh boy, here goes nothing. Let's go. Please take me back to the time before all of this happened. I really cannot.、Um, Comprehend this or end it right here. Here goes. 